I have here a simple uh, RC circuit. You have a battery with some EMF uh, script E connected to a capacitor with some capacitance C, some potential difference across the capacitor V, and some resistor R. And we know that when the circuit is completed after a long time, what we're going to find is that the entire EMF of the battery is going to appear across the plates of the capacitor. There will be no current flowing and no voltage drop across R. So we're going to look at the system at that point. So what we have here, if we do a, a simple Kirchhoff's voltage, or Kirchhoff's loop law here, I'm going to take a loop going this way, and I guess I should put explicitly my current is flowing this way, which is going to induce a positive charge on this plate of the capacitor, a negative charge on this plate, if I'm assuming that current is positive charge is moving to the right and on the bottom of this loop. Um, what If I do the Kirchhoff's loop law here, what I'm going to find out is that E uh, plus V, and remember there's no voltage drop across the resistor, so I'm going to ignore that. That's going to be equal to zero. So clearly the EMF of the battery is minus the voltage that appears across the capacitor. It's equal and opposite after a long time. And recall this is the positive terminal of the battery. Let me draw that a little better. This is the negative terminal across the battery. Maybe that visually gives you a way uh, to remember what's going on here. All right.